I'm Nick from Tabletop Duo and today you will learn how to play Risk. Setup Players choose an army color and get their starting infantry, which are the soldiers, according to the number of players. Cavalry is worth 5 troops and the artillery is worth 10 troops. Sort the secret mission cards, keeping only the ones that refer to the chosen army colors or that don't refer to a specific color at all. Shuffle the cards and deal one card face down to each player. Take the territory cards and remove the two wild cards. Deal all cards to players, starting with the player to the left. Each player places one infantry onto each of the territories they are given. Then, all players take turns placing one infantry onto any of their territories. Note that there is no limit to the number of troops you can place onto a single territory. Example. The orange player places one infantry on Alberta, then green places one on the Western United States, then blue on Ontario, then orange adds another one on Alberta, then green on the Western United States, and so on. Collect all territory cards, add the two wild cards and shuffle the deck, placing it face down near the board. Each player rolls a die. The highest number goes first, and now you're ready to learn how to play. The object of the game is to be the first player to complete their secret mission. At the beginning of your turn, count the number of territories you occupy and divide the total by 3, ignoring any fractions. Example, if you occupy 14 territories, you receive 4 troops. Note that if you occupy fewer than 9 territories, you always receive at least 3 troops. You also receive troops for each continent where you occupy all of its territories. Example, the blue player occupies all the South America territories, receiving an extra two troops. Place your new troops on any territories you already occupy. Next, the current player decides if they wish to attack. You can only attack a territory that shares border with one of your own, or is connected to it by a dashed line. To attack an enemy territory, you need to have at least two troops in the territory you are attacking from. You can attack with up to three troops, no matter how many you have in your territory. Note that you can never leave a territory empty. The defender can defend with one or two troops currently stationed at the attacked territory, no matter how many they have in their territory and they don't need to leave one standing guard. Example, the orange player has been attacked with one troop and they decide to defend with their two troops. The attacker rolls one red die for each attacking troop and the defender will roll one blue die for each defending troop at the same time. Pair up the highest dice each one rolled. If you rolled an unequal number of die, the lowest numbers are ignored. Example, the attack 4 die is paired with the defender 5 die, and the attacker 3 die is paired with the defender 1 die. The attack 1 die has no die to pair with, so it's ignored. If the paired attack die is higher than the defender, the defender loses one troop. If the paired defender die is higher or equal than the attacker, the attacker loses one troop. In this example, the attacker loses one troop and the defender loses one troop also. If the defender has troops in the territory after the attack, any attack troops that survived return to the territory they attacked from. If you wipe all the defender troops in the territory, you capture it. Place all surviving troops in the territory and draw one territory card. Note that you only get one card, even if you captured several territories in the same turn. You can also move more troops in from the attacking territory if you want. The current player can attack as many times as they want on their turn, including territories that have already been attacked and defended successfully. After a player ends attacking, they decide if they want to maneuver troops between territories. Move as many troops as you would like from one and only one of your territories into one and only one of your territories that is connected. Note that you still need to leave at least one troop on the territory you moved from. For example, blue moves one troop from Madagascar to East Africa and then two troops from Brazil to Ontario since there is a chain of territories they own between them. Once you finish maneuvering the troops, your turn ends. Play continues with the next player to your left. Before we finish, let's talk about territory cards. At the beginning of a player's turn, that player can trade a set of three territory cards for troops if the sets follow the rules below. Place the sets below the board, like this. 
count how many sets have already been traded by you or other players and get the number of troops listed below. Example, there were two trades already in the game. Blue is doing the third trade, so they get eight troops. If any of the cards you trade in show the picture of a territory you occupy, pick an extra two troops and place them onto that territory. If an opponent is eliminated, get all of your opponent's cards and immediately trade enough sets to reduce your hand to four or fewer cards. The player who completes their secret mission first reveals it and they are declared the winner. And that's how you play Risk. If you liked Risk, check these other how to play board game videos and subscribe to receive an update whenever a new video comes up.